give diary day 16 of Vladimir Putin's war. The electricity is still on, the internet is still on, there are no Russian tanks in my street Krushatik, and I'm still wearing my lucky orange hat. The war is not going well for Vladimir Putin. Don't ask me, don't take my word for it. Just switch on Russian state TV. Last time I was in Russia in 2018, I was doorstep by Russian TV twice. It's propaganda with a capital P. Well, not anymore. Last night on the main political kind of talk show, one of the tame patsy experts said we don't want another Afghanistan enough already. Here in Kiev, there were two battles yesterday, one coming in from the north, one coming in from the east, and the Ukrainians appear to have stopped or slowed down both. Still, there are Russian soldiers 15 miles from where I'm speaking, but they are not moving any closer, as far as we can tell. So the pressure now is building on Vladimir Putin. That is why I am launching my podcast, Taking on Putin. I've been working on it, well, <laughs> frankly, for 22 years. Since I first saw evidence of Russian war crimes in Chechnya, I did a lot of uh, recording this summer, and um, and now we're going to put it up very, very soon. But here I am in Kiev. Um, I'm working with some smart and good people, but we need money to make it, money to get it legal, money to put it out, money to get on the platforms, all that stuff. And if you could crowdfund it, crowdfund it, taking on Putin, I'd be very, very grateful. Once again, it's quiet here in Kiev, and that quiet can be deceptive. But I want to say this too. I feel proud to be here, proud to be reporting what it's like to be the wrong end of the Russian killing machine, and still standing. Love from Kiev, and take care.